Hi, this is Preeti from Analytics India Magazine and today's episode is a weekly update from the world of data science. Everything from new launches, latest research, cyber threats and events that have happened in the past 7 days will be covered here. So let's get started. As always starting with the launches, Amazon launches monitoring service AWS IoT SiteWise. Amazon announced AWS IoT SiteWise, its managed monitoring service for industrial customers is now generally available 2 years after its unveiling at AWS re-event 2018. SiteWise automates data ingestion from the plant floor, structuring and labeling the data and generating real-time metrics to inform managerial decisions. In SiteWise, customers begin by modeling their industrial equipment, processes and facilities by adding context to the collected data. Moving on, Imagination Technologies launches GPUs for smart car display. Imagination Technologies has announced its XS family of graphics processing units for automotive applications such as driver assistance and displays with 3D graphics. The company said that the XS GPUs are designed for advanced driver assistance systems and can process safety critical graphics workloads while still reacting to interruptions. These might include driver alerts like a big blinking red light when an accident is about to happen. The chips can also create supplementary imagery like offering a surround view when you are parking in a tight space. Moving on, Yota Infrastructure inaugurates India's largest data center facility. Yota Infrastructure, a Hira Nandani Group subsidiary and a managed data center service provider developing hyperscale data center parks in India, inaugurated India's largest data center building, Yota NM1, in a virtual event. It is the largest tier 4 data center certified by Uptime Institute in Asia and second largest in the world. This particular data center is a powerful statement of intent that India is rising high in the quest of data security, data use and data innovation. Moving on, let's talk about Google's Data Q&A. Google today unveiled Data Q&A, a service in private alpha designed to help users answer analytical queries through natural language questions. Based on the Analyza system developed at Google Research, Data Q&A automatically performs semantic parsing and mapping to datasets up to petabytes in size. Furthermore, it can be embedded in chatbots, spreadsheets and business intelligence platforms like Looker as well as custom-built interfaces. Come to the next news. Facebook's speech recognition model supports 51 different languages. Facebook researchers have developed what they claim is the largest automatic speech recognition ASR model of its kind. A model that learned to understand words in 51 languages after training on over 16,000 hours of voice recordings. Designing a single model to recognize speech in multiple languages is desirable for several reasons. It simplifies the back-end production pipeline for one thing and studies have shown training multilingual models on similar languages can decrease overall word error rate. Coming to the last news, Amazon, Apple, Facebook and Google CEOs to testify before an antitrust panel. Amazon's Jeff Bezos, Facebook's Mark Zuckerberg and Google's Sundar Pichai and Apple's Tim Cook will appear before the House Judiciary Antitrust Subcommittee as part of its probe into the companies. The hearing will tackle an ongoing investigation the committee launched amid concerns that the tech giants are suppressing competition. Since last June, the subcommittee has been investigating the dominance of a small number of digital platforms and the adequacy of existing antitrust laws and enforcement. It has been announced that the hearing will take place on July 27th and will be live streamed through its official YouTube account. With that, we come to the end of this video. Don't forget to subscribe to Analytics India magazine and follow this segment for everything related to data science as a career. See you soon. Bye.